Right, welcome to another video. Beautiful day, too nice to be in. So I thought we'd do a bit of a cooking video in the woods. We'll find a spot and uh, get scoffing. there um, on the menu today I had some potatoes I wanted to use up I've got some green beans left and uh, sausages this is one meal I could think of mashed potatoes bangers and mash sausage mash beans and gravy um, basic gravy so I'm just gonna look for a nice level spot and uh, we'll get cooking some big spiders around here, isn't there? Before I forget, this is for Rob Charles. All right. <laughs> well, I think this will do just fine. Uh, nature's seat and nature's table so we'll make the most of it that was a steep old climb then but it's worth it I'm sorry if you can hear some uh, somebody with a chainsaw um, and a sheep <laughs> not together I hope is it? Oh. yeah somebody's working on a chainsaw so that's um, Hopefully won't interfere too much with this. Anyway, I'll set up, show you what's happening. Okay, so I've picked my little spot um, on this little stump, it lacked as a nature's table. So my potatoes are in there. So they're gonna take the longest to boil, so I'll start them first. I'm using the primer stove, I love this stove, because you can alter the heat so delicately, delicately. They can go on there. Like so. And uh, got some olive oil just to start the sausages. Does that slide in? You gotta be careful of this because there's a copper base. I think I'll put some uh, salt in the potatoes. These are just ones I've kept from KFC visits. Very handy. I 
uh, to improvise for some wood because this pan's copper bottomed it slides off the stove like it's been greased don't know what it is no other pans do it. it must be the copper base anyway potatoes are ready really nearly ready so I'll take them off they'll continue to cook in the water and then I'll use a the stove then to fry the sausage and um, we should be good to go and the other thing I'm going to do put the beans in because they'll cook they don't need much olive oil and three pork sausages hope you can see okay there been a fantastic day today Should start sizzling very shortly. Nothing nicer than that sound, is it? <laughs> Nothing nicer. And I'm going to be using the fat from the sausages and that bit of olive oil I put in to make my gravy. Now, I'm going to add some water from the potatoes and beans, beef stock cube, and some cornstarch, as you call it, or we call it, uh, I forgot what we call it now. <laughs> Just bear with me. Corn flour, that's it. Corn flour. Just a bit for a minute. So we've got sausage fat in there. Put this up a bit. Actually. We've got sausage fat. Water from the potatoes and the beans and uh, an oxo cube
my last heating up. And we'll take the beans out. They've more or less steamed really. Thicken it up now. This is a very basic gravy, by the way, but very tasty. And as you can see, beautiful. Okay, so here's the potatoes. See that? Make sure you can see that, yeah. Now to that, just going to add a drizzle of olive oil. And then... bit more salt. And pepper. Might be a bit of it all. Get mashing. So I'll get back to you when I'm plating up. Quite rustic. But because you're out in the woods, it doesn't mean you can't eat a good, wholesome meal. And there's only one thing missing. And that's this. Lashentos of gravy. I like my gravy quite thick, so you ready? Taste. been dying for this. You ready? Bloody hell. As I always say though, I always taste ten times better out here. Mm. Beans. That gravy, only a basic gravy, but beautiful. And adding the oil, you can add butter to potatoes, obviously. But if you add some olive oil, adds a bit of slickness to them. And is a bit healthier than butter. <laughs> right. Well, you're not having any bloody crows. I won't make you drool over this. 
so I'll finish this tidy up pack up and I'll get back to you then we'll have a word then mm. absolutely beautiful mm. so just to show you this is where I was and uh, LNT leave no trace, there's nothing here, even the three pieces of wood I had by here I've got rid of, put them back where they came from, over here, and that was a lovely couple of hours in the woods, really enjoyed it. So that's it, end of another outing into the woods, cooking in the woods, you can't beat it, and if you haven't tried it I highly recommend, even if it's a pot noodle, kettle with you, flask of hot water, whatever, couple of hours outside it makes a massive difference to you really calms things down nice anyway hope you enjoyed the video the meal was absolutely stunning and uh, ten times better for being out here so thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you soon take care